with Judge Doro making it official. She is indeed running for Wisconsin Supreme Court. And that April election will decide control of the Wisconsin Supreme Court. Our political reporter Jason Calvi live from Waukesha County with a breakdown of what this race means for you, Jason. Well, Mary, the Wisconsin Supreme Court will likely decide the future of Wisconsin's abortion ban. In the past, they've ruled on some monumental cases in the state, like Act 10, uh, the state's uh, COVID-19 shutdown, absentee ballot drop boxes. Now, progressives could actually take control in the April election. Uh, conservatives currently have a four to three majority, and one of them is retiring. I am excited to officially announce my candidacy for the Wisconsin Supreme Court. Judge Jennifer Doro jumps in. If you know me at all, I do wear my emotions on my sleeve, and it's, it's just so overwhelming to be here today. She gained national attention for presiding over the Waukesha Christmas Parade trial. I have been a judicial conservative for my entire career. But some conservatives are backing another candidate, former Supreme Court Justice Dan Kelly, who lost his election in 2020. When they tell me we don't want to gamble, uh, what they're telling me is if a Supreme Court candidate comes to us and says, uh, here I am, I'm a, um, I'm a faithful constitutionalist, I follow the rule of law, they want proof of that because, uh, because they feel like they've been burned uh, before. Kelly and Dora wouldn't say how they'll rule on an abortion case. As a jurist, as a judge, I have some ethical constraints that prohibit me from commenting on any pending litigation. Progressives back other candidates, Milwaukee County Judge Janet Protasewicz and Dane County Judge Everett Mitchell. I think for me it's going to be about listening to those cases. Obviously my values have always been very strong about uh, supporting reproductive choice. Protasewicz's campaign manager said she will vigorously defend women's right to make her own decision when it comes to abortion. Now, these four candidates will compete in the primary, which is scheduled for February. The top two vote getters, no matter who they are, because this is a nonpartisan race, no matter if they're conservatives or liberal, the top two vote getters will move on to the general election in April. But first, they have to get the nomination signatures to get onto the ballot. That process begins tomorrow in Waukesha County. Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. No time to rest. All right, Jason, thank you.